Okay, for this problem, we are asked how many moles of calcium sulfate will contain 50 kilograms of calcium? And part B asks for how many kilograms of calcium sulfate will contain 50 kilograms of calcium? So, of course, to solve this problem, let's, uh, let's try to identify what's the formula of calcium sulfate, which of course we know to be CaSO4. And um, it's also important that we know the molar mass of calcium and calcium sulfate. So when we look at the periodic table, we, we see that uh, if we add the molar masses for calcium, sulfur, and oxygen, we will get these values, uh, 106.14 gram per mole for calcium sulfate, and for calcium alone, it's 40.08 gram per mole. So this is what we will, this information is what we will use. So first we start to solve for part A. We start with, um, we start with the 50 kilograms of calcium, 50 kilograms of CA, convert that to kilomoles, multiply that by this one, one kilomole of CA is 40.8 zero eight kilograms of ca and then we can then go to um so i think here the kilogram ca and kilogram ca cancels out then we know that one kilomole of ca based on the formula caso4 uh, get, uh, is equivalent to one kilomole of CaSO4. So basically, it's saying that a mole of a kilomole of calcium sulfate contains one kilomole of Ca, and I think that's it. So for this, we are being asked for moles, but of course we can just say that its answer will be in kilomoles. So 50 divided by 40.08 times one, or just really. The answer is just 1.248, 1.248 kilomoles of CaSO4. That's the answer for part A. And now for part B, we are being asked how many kilograms of calcium, calcium sulfate will contain 50 kilograms of calcium. So basically the same amount of calcium. So that will just be now about conversion converting this 1.248 kilomoles of calcium sulfate into kilograms okay so we just multiply that by the molar mass which is this one for calcium sulfate 136.14 kilogram per one kilomole okay so the answer will just multiply it by 136.14 and we got a 169.8 169.8 kilo kilograms of calcium sulfate okay so what is important here is that we know where to put the whether when to flip or not to flip the conversion depending on what are we really looking for Okay, so this conversion is just the from the molecular weight or the molar mass of calcium. And again, this one is from the molar mass of calcium sulfate. I see here that the kilomoles calcium sulfate cancels with the kilomoles, leaving us with the kilograms.